Add event listener is used to handle an event to a particular element. Let us look at this example. Click is an event. Execute this function when you click. This is the element. In this example, it is a button. When you click the button, it shows hello. How does it work? Write the code to establish the button. Then write the code to show the output. Add the script tag and include the statements of the function. When you click on the button, the click event will execute the function. It will show hello in the element with the same ID. Let's prepare the basic structure of an edge TML file. Remove the space so that the closing tag of HTML stays close to the body closing tag. The center element will display the inline contents centered horizontally within it. Remember the head element is a container for metadata. It is placed between the edge TML tag and on top of the body tag. Place the button element inside the body tag. Assign an ID to the button so that it can be identified accurately. You may also need to assign the name appears on the button. The script tag is added. Let us place the scripting statements inside it. The get element by ID will return the element with a value. The button is the element. They are connected by the ID. The add event listener joins an event to the element. The click is the event. When you click on the button, the function add3 will be executed. Write the function. The get element by ID returns an element with a specific value. In this case, the element is identified with an ID. Demo 1. Inner HTML will change the content inside the element to hello. Now, write the element. In this case, it is a paragraph to show texts. You also need to assign the ID as Demo1. Now, we are ready to view the outcome. Right-click in your Visual Studio code. 
Choose Live Server to view the outcome. Now, you may look at the example and study how to use Add Event Listener to write the codes. Let us take a glance on the code.